a brand new poll from a Biden affiliated PAC shows that Biden is in deep trouble in the swing states. What is up, people, the internet? It is me, Real American, back again with a new video today. It is time that we talk about the 2024 presidential election. Because everyone, a brand new poll from a Biden-affiliated PAC. That's right. This is a PAC that supports President Biden. Demonstrates that voters, they don't very much like Biden. And in fact, in a head-to-head -head matchup with President Trump, he loses, especially with voters that dislike both Biden and Trump. Yeah, this poll is public, and it makes you really wonder, hey, can this guy really win next year? Are, are these polls that show Trump, you know, winning the popular vote, are they not as far-fetched as we originally thought? Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content. That we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. Alright everybody. So again, this is a poll from a Biden pack. So when you get to these type of polls, they can be wacky. They can be off. And again, we're only in October of 2023. But still. I mean, the fact that they released this um, may not be a good sign for them. So let's look at it. It's a dead heat between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump in the top battleground states of Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin a year before the 2024 presidential election. Now, you'll say it's 50-50, but here's just a fact. The same poll back in 2020, at least based on what I've heard, they had Biden winning the Rust Belt by... Four to five points. You know, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Well, they have a tide. A five-point shift. And that means that Trump's probably slightly ahead in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. Michigan is the more left-leaning state of the big three. And it's equally close in those same three states among the double haters. The voters who hold a negative opinion of both Biden and Trump. That's actually misleading. Because like I said earlier, there's something um, about this poll that makes you really think, hey, this is 2016 vibes. These are the findings of a new polling from the pro-Biden super PAC, Unite the Country, which tell an important story about the double hater voters. They're up for grabs in a hypothetical Biden v. Trump matchup. According to the survey conducted by the Dem polling firm GQR among 3,000 likely voters, Combined in these three battleground states, Biden and Trump are deadlocked at 50-50 in a forced two-candidate choice. So without even accounting for, you know, uh, Cornell West, you know, RFK, whatever, it's tied. It's a 50-50 race. And when you include those independents, Trump's probably slightly ahead. But look at the double haters. These are the voters that hate Biden, and hate Trump. Well, Trump's slightly ahead by three points with them. Usually these are critical voters for each election because they're the definition of the swing voters where they hate Biden, they hate Trump, or like they hate Romney, they hate Obama, etc. Hate Trump, hate Clinton, you get the point, right? These voters are the ones that can de uh, determine who wins the election. Among the 482 voters who have negative feelings about both Biden, both men, representing 16% of the sample, that's right, 16% of the vote, Trump leads Biden by three points, 51 to 48. These double haters are more likely to be men, hold the college degrees, and identify as Republicans than the total sample, the polling shows. 
That's right. These voters, they identify more as men, Republicans, co college degrees, etc. So these are like your Romney voters from like 2012. These are the voters that have swan from the Republican Party in recent years. And that's that's been happening before Trump. It's going to happen after Trump. It would have happened without Trump. Trump just accelerated it. But this is a big problem for Biden. If these are your swing voters, um, that may not be good. Because a lot of these voters, they loved Biden back in 2020. They were like, he's going to bring back normalcy. Blah, blah, blah. A lot of garbage. And well, it uh didn't work too well. <laughs> it really backfired, I think, because people realized, wait, he's not this ordinary Democrat. He's just not there. Nobody knows who controls the country. It's like, not good, not good. Yet, they also have a higher, a very unfavorable views of Trump, 59% of the voters, than they do of Biden, 49%. Big problem is, it was a much bigger gap in 2020. It was like 20 points, 20, 30 points with these voters. Even Trump still, I think, won this group by like 1% or something. It's like, Trump has always had high unfavorables. He's going to. But the fact is, Biden's has gone up dramatically in the past, you know, two years. Trump's, it's stagnated, if not went down a little bit. That's a positive for Trump. I mean, the gap is not as it was back in 2020. And the Republican voters who are double haters are less likely to identify as MAGA Republicans than their total share of a total share of GOP voters. That's not a surprise. A lot of these Republicans, they're the Mitt Romney types. They're the Ben Shapiro's of the world. We don't like MAGA. Where we we instead want to go start World War III and you know Iran and stuff. It's like, bro. <laughs> these double haters who are a key swing group in 2016 and 2020 are more likely to be Republican voters but they aren't, also aren't pro-Trump Republicans either. But here's the difference. They hate Biden now. Yes, they don't like Trump either. I mean, that's just factual. That's always going to happen. But right now, this 10% gap between Trump and Biden for very unfavorable, that was like 20, 30% back in 2020. So it has shifted in favor of Trump. And the ones that do like have a favorable opinion of Biden. It's not very, it's not like, yeah, I love this guy. It's like, eh, whatever. That's not good. Given the razor thin margin, of these battleground states, especially Wisconsin, our focus must shift to engage and understand the no, no voters. They could be the tipping point. Unite the country says in the memo of these poll results, AKA we're in deep trouble. <laughs> we need a, Get our ass, you know, in gear because this isn't good. The fact that Trump, which again, he's never pulled this high, whether it was internals, whether it was, you know, public polling, whatever. The fact that a Biden super PAC had this poll results of 50-50 in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan, but Rep Trump actually leading the double haters, um... That's not a good combination for Biden. And that's without Cornell West. That's without RFK. That's without the Green Party. Whatever. You just start looking at this and you realize, um, this isn't good. This isn't good for President Biden. Now, my question is this, or the question I should answer is, will this, you know, continue? I don't know. You know... The public polling has shown the same thing for two years now. That Trump is pulling the best he's ever done in any of these states. It's factual. He's never cracked 50% in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, or Michigan. Now, of the big three, he's pulling at 50%. So he's probably above 50% in Wisconsin and Michigan. And when you account for Cornell West, RFK, which again, we're starting to get some mixed signs about RFK. There's some signs that indicate he's helping Biden, some that he's indicating 
he's helping Trump. And I think it does depend on the state, though. But either way, if you include those two, Trump's probably slightly ahead in this poll. And the fact that this came from a Biden super PAC, I think this is more of a warning of, to the campaign saying, hey, guys, um, you're in deep trouble. <laughs> you, you have a big problem here. We are showing Trump tied with you. That probably means he's up by like two or three in the Rust Belt. That's not good. At that point, if he's already tied with Biden, it's like, um, that's not good. Because he's never done this good, and everybody knows he usually has a late surge. Back in 2016, he surged the last week of the election. 2020, similar deal. So it's like, if he's already tied with Biden, what's going to happen back next year? Which, again, we don't know with the indictments. We don't know with him possibly going to jail. We don't know. But if Trump is already tied with Biden, that should be a warning sign to Democrats that, hey, your delusions of, you know, Democrats are going to gain 50 seats in the House and 10 Senate seats and Biden will win 413 electoral votes. You know, it's, there's nothing to back that up with other than 2% turnout elections in Tennessee. whoop the freaking do Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below. Subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much, Godspeed, to all of you.